Welcome to my weekly haul. Where do you see the snacks I got this week? Okay, here is our haul for today. Uh, I believe I spent, I spent just under 150 on all of this stuff. Let's see what we got here. So I went to two different stores. I went to Tofts, which is a regional grocery store, and I went to Aldi. I got most of my stuff from Aldi. But I got here uh, some really good, thick, bulky rolls. Don't those look really good? They'd be like good for chicken sandwiches or something. These were um, price reduced, so they were $2.35, when normally they're $4.69. So I'm gonna throw these in the freezer and I can use those when I'm ready. Um, I got a loaf of bread for my son for his sandwiches. We got some spinach for my husband's salads, some green onions, um, bananas. My son loves bananas. He eats them every day. Uh, the lemons. Lemons were on sale. I love using lemons, especially in the summertime. I put them in almost everything. Avocados were also on sale. I love when the avocados are on sale. They were like 69 cents today. Um, so I got three of those. I got some baby bella mushrooms and sweet grape tomatoes. Those I usually get every week. I bought some diapers and wipes and I have the squeeze pouches for my son. I bought a case of water because it's still pretty hot out here. And a lot of the stuff I bought was uh, not too much for meals. I actually went overboard on the snacks this week, I will say. But a lot of it was also just kind of stocking up back on staples. So I got some bacon. Um, we are making pizza this week and I thought it would be fun to maybe slice up some summer sausage instead of doing your typical pepperoni. I have some crumbled goat cheese and tomato basil flavor, Parmesan cheese, uh, fresh mozzarella. This is also going to be for the pizza. We have some mild cheddar and American cheese as well. I also bought uh, chicken patties. I haven't tried these yet. Um, my son really likes the nuggets, so how you know how bad could these be, really? I also got some chicken thighs. This I did not buy. I'm just parched. Uh, yogurt. Had to ran out of yogurt, so I got some more whole milk Greek yogurt. Uh, staples again: baking powder, um, peanut butter. Mayonnaise, salad dressing, chicken stock. I normally do my own stock, but since we've moved, I haven't really been able to uh, build up my stock ingredients. Sandwich bags, just some uh, not food items over here. I, oh my gosh, uh, dryer sheets. Dryer sheets, the like magic erasers, some dish sponges as well and I saw these super cute dog treats that they were on sale they're just little bones but I'll split these between my two doggies and also some new candle flavors guys if you know me you know I love these candles ice cream s'mores and ginger nectarine these smell so good you guys if you see those in your Aldi make sure you grab them um, I got some more waffles. I usually buy these every week for my son. He goes through almost a box a week. A couple of these seltzers. I have uh, a berry flavor. This one is grapefruit, peach, and key lime. Um, soy milk. And I bought some whole milk and heavy cream because I plan on making ice cream this week. Some eggs because we're almost out. Uh, whole bean coffee. I like this particular whole bean coffee because I like to make iced coffee in the summer and I um, grind them myself and this one has a really nice flavor. So if you're near a Tops, which you most likely aren't, but I do suggest trying that if you like to make your own iced coffee. A protein granola bars, those are for me during the week. Uh, and now we're on to the snacks, you guys. Like I said, I went overboard on the snacks, but I couldn't help it because there were so many really good-looking snacks this week. I had to try them all. Um, I really like these brown rice crackers. These are really great with cheese or even just by themselves. These are awesome. So if you haven't tried the brown rice crackers, they have these all the time. Um, this as well. I've never tried this. I always see it, so I was really tempted, so I decided to grab it. 
uh, baking chips just to keep in my cupboard. Now on to the snacks. You guys. These street corn flavored corn chips from Aldi's are killer. They had these the week of Cinco de Mayo and then I didn't see them again after that. But then they had them today. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna have to grab two bags. My husband was just talking about how he wished they still had those at the store and there they are. Do you hear my son? He's saying hi. Say hi, we're eating dinner, aren't we? <laughs> okay, back to this stuff. Um, the pistachios, they had this whole bag, a pound of pistachios. These were on sale for about uh, four or five dollars. They have this popcorn. You know, if you are a fan of popcorn, they normally have like the cheddar cheese and the butter flavor. But they had these creamy chili and they also had a mango habanero kind. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, same thing with these. I saw these there earlier this year and they brought them back, the spicy salsa and the guacamole tortilla chips. I didn't try these last time, so I'm going to try them this time. And then they had these, they had another flavor as well. It was like rosemary and feta, I believe. Um, but I grabbed the tzatziki because these look really good too. I love Greek and Lebanese flavors, so those are going to probably be awesome. And then lastly, we got our white cheddar cheese popcorn because we are addicted to that stuff. And that's all for today's haul, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope maybe you uh, see something that you want to go out and try. And here is the weekly meal plan that I have. So here is our weekly meal plan. We have on Monday, we're going to do some a la focaccia. On Tuesday, we're gonna have an omelet with hash browns. Wednesday, pesto pasta with chicken. And I actually already have all the ingredients for this. Uh, Thursday, we're gonna do chicken sandwiches with potato salad. Friday, we're gonna do some pork fried rice. Same thing with this, I already have all the ingredients. Saturday's pizza. Um, both the focaccia dough and the pizza dough are the same dough. So all I have to do is make it one time and then I can get two meals out of it. And then Sunday, we're just going to do some burgers with scalloped potatoes because I have a ton of potatoes. That's why we're doing the scalloped potatoes, potato salad, and the hash browns because I already have potatoes.